but I think the development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. We can, and must, use our curiosity and intelligence to look to the stars. Stephen Hawking, a renowned theoretical physicist, wasn't just known for his groundbreaking discoveries in cosmology and black holes. He also shared his concerns about the future of humanity, touching on various topics with his characteristic scientific insights and their potential impact on society. Here are some of the fears and concerns he expressed for the future of humans. One of Hawking's concerns was the threat of asteroid impacts on Earth. This isn't just science fiction, it's a real possibility that has happened before and could occur again if we don't take preventative measures. Asteroids are rocky remnants from the formation of our solar system, and while most are found in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, some have orbits that bring them closer to Earth, making them near-Earth objects. The most famous historical example of an asteroid impact is the Chicxulub impact, estimated to have occurred 66 million years ago. This colossal event is widely believed to have caused the mass extinction that wiped out the dinosaurs and roughly 75% of Earth's species at the time. The impact created a crater roughly 150 kilometers wide in what is now the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, and the environmental changes it triggered including widespread fires, tsunamis and a nuclear winter caused by dust blocking out the sun showcase the potential catastrophic consequences of large asteroid impacts. While most near-Earth objects are small and harmless, burning up in the Earth's atmosphere, larger ones could cause significant damage upon collision. The level of threat depends on the size of the asteroid, with larger ones potentially causing regional or even global disasters. Thankfully, efforts are underway to protect Earth from asteroid impacts. The first step is detection and tracking. Several programs like NASA's Near-Earth Object Observations Program are dedicated to discovering and monitoring objects. These programs use ground-based telescopes and space-based sensors to track the trajectories of asteroids that could potentially impact Earth. Fortunately, scientists haven't just identified the threat, they're also exploring ways to deflect or mitigate potentially catastrophic asteroid impacts. One method involves a spacecraft essentially playing cosmic bumper cars. The kinetic impactor technique involves launching a spacecraft to deliberately crash into an asteroid, ever so slightly altering its trajectory and nudging it away from Earth. An example of this technique being tested is NASA's DART mission, aiming to practice this method on a smaller asteroid. Another approach is the gravity tractor method. This strategy involves a spacecraft slowly flying alongside an asteroid for a long time, using its own gravity to gradually pull the asteroid off course. Nuclear explosions are a more controversial option. The idea isn't to blow the asteroid to smithereens which could create multiple smaller threats, but to use a precisely detonated nuclear explosion near the asteroid to create a powerful push, altering its course. The good news is that we're not facing this challenge alone. The international community recognizes the global threat posed by asteroids. The United Nations has established organizations like the International Asteroid Warning Network to share information about potential threats, and the Space Mission Planning Advisory Group to coordinate international efforts in deflecting dangerous asteroids. For example, an asteroid named Apophis gained notoriety for its potential to hit Earth in 2029 or 2036. Thankfully, further observations have ruled out any impact threat from Apophis for at least the next 100 years. While not an immediate danger, close encounters like these offer valuable opportunities for scientists to refine their tracking and deflection techniques, ensuring we're better prepared for any future threats that may arise. The search for extraterrestrial life is in full swing, with scientists using telescopes to listen for possible signals from distant civilizations. But amidst this excitement, Stephen Hawking offered a word of caution regarding the potential dangers of contacting aliens. His concerns, while thought-provoking, are part of a larger conversation about the possible consequences of encountering life beyond Earth. SETI projects aim to detect signs of intelligent life by searching for radio signals that could be of artificial origin. Additionally, the Messaging to Extraterrestrial Intelligence Initiative seeks to send messages into space in the hopes of establishing contact. However, Hawking's viewpoint urges us to consider the potential risks involved. His perspective is influenced by the precautionary principle, which essentially states that when the potential consequences of an action are unknown, 
it's best to err on the side of caution. Applied to contacting aliens, this principle implies that without understanding their intentions or capabilities, we should proceed with caution. One of Hawking's concerns is the possibility of encountering a civilization far more advanced than ours. He points to the concept of the technological singularity, a hypothetical point where technological advancement becomes rapid and unpredictable. Extraterrestrial civilizations that have reached this stage might possess unimaginable technologies, potentially including methods of interstellar travel, advanced energy manipulation, or even control over the fabric of space-time. Furthermore, Hawking mentions von Neumann probes, self-replicating spacecraft theorized by some as a means of interstellar exploration. If such probes are designed to acquire resources, Earth could become an unwitting target, highlighting the potential dangers of resource depletion in space exploration. Beyond technological risks, Hawking also raises concerns about unique type of consequence. He draws a parallel to the Columbian Exchange, a historical period where the introduction of foreign plants Animals had devastating effects on indigenous populations in the Americas. An encounter with aliens could lead to similarly unforeseen and potentially catastrophic consequences. The theory of directed panspermia adds another layer of complexity. This theory suggests that life on Earth may have been deliberately seeded by an advanced civilization. While speculative, it raises the possibility of contamination in both directions, with not only Earth's biosphere being at risk from alien organisms, but also the potential for us to unintentionally harm extraterrestrial ecosystems. Hawking's cautionary words, while not a call to abandon the search for extraterrestrial life, encourage us to approach potential contact with an open mind, but also with a healthy dose of prudence and awareness of the potential risks involved. Our quest to find out if we're alone in the universe has sparked a multitude of fascinating theories and concepts. Stephen Hawking had some interesting ones. Here are a few that attempt to answer the age-old question, are we truly alone? The zoo hypothesis takes a hopeful approach, suggesting that advanced alien civilizations might be observing us like specimens in a cosmic zoo. This theory implies a sense of responsibility and non-interference on their part, perhaps similar to the concept of a prime directive in science fiction. However, the zoo hypothesis also presents challenges for the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. If aliens are actively hiding or avoiding contact, SETI might need to go beyond just searching for signals. They might need to look for subtler signs like evidence of observation or manipulation from these advanced beings. This concept ties into the idea of the anthropic shadow, which suggests our observations about the universe are inherently biased. We might only see what allows for our own existence. If civilizations readily expose themselves or interact carelessly, they might not survive long enough to be observed, making the silence seem deafening. On the flip side, the dark forest theory paints a much bleaker picture. It imagines the cosmos as a dark and dangerous place where every civilization acts like a silent hunter, fearing to reveal their location to potential threats. This theory, inspired by science fiction, is based on the idea of cosmic sociology, exploring how civilizations might interact based on survival and risk. The dark forest theory delves into the chilling concept of cosmic loneliness. The vast and silent universe, it suggests, could be a result of civilization's fear of annihilation, driving them to hide rather than seek contact. This theory also introduces the chain of suspicion, where even without direct hostility, mutual distrust and fear can prevent civilizations from reaching out, leading to a preemptive strike mentality and further discouraging open communication. The Fermi paradox highlights the seemingly contradictory nature of our situation. The probability of extraterrestrial life existing appears high, yet we have no concrete evidence to confirm it. This paradox has led to several other thought-provoking speculations beyond the zoo and dark forest theories. One such theory is the Great Filter, suggesting there might be a critical and potentially unsurpassable stage in a civilization's development that prevents them from reaching a point of communication with others. This hypothetical hurdle could be something we've already overcome, like the origin of life, or something we might face in the future, like managing advanced technology. Another interesting speculation is the transient hypothesis, which proposes that civilizations might be fleeting, quickly evolving beyond the need for detectable communication methods or even succumbing to self-destruction. 
Finally, the Drake equation offers a scientific framework for estimating the number of active communicative civilizations in our galaxy. While the equation itself is relatively simple, the values it uses are highly uncertain, resulting in a wide range of possible answers. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence has also expanded its scope beyond just radio signals. Inspired by the Drake Equation's focus on communicative civilizations, scientists are now searching for other technological signatures, such as the effects of large-scale engineering projects or unusual energy consumption patterns. Additionally, discoveries of exoplanets in habitable zones and extremophiles on Earth are prompting revisions to the Drake Equation's variables, suggesting a potentially higher chance of life existing in the universe. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence is a captivating journey fueled by scientific inquiry and our inherent curiosity about the universe. These various theories and concepts, while speculative, offer a glimpse into the different perspectives and possibilities surrounding the existence of life beyond Earth, keeping us engaged in our ongoing exploration of the cosmos.